Two teen girls from a small California town take on a boy they say raped them. He's the popular kid, and they're called terrible names. Both battle depression and considered suicide. But after months of facing the darkness, they now say they can finally see the light. A photo of a passed out girl, and another one, and here's another one. All downloaded by detectives from the phone of Shane Villapondo, a teen from the town of Orcutt in Santa Barbara County. The photos reveal a party boy drinking, sexting, showcasing drug paraphernalia. But for Villapondo, the party may be over. The 19-year-old was just convicted of three felony counts of unlawful sex with a minor. Will you just talk with us? Outside of court, we asked Villapondo and his family for a comment, but they declined. Stop. The minor was a 14-year-old girl, and here she tells the detective Villapondo scared her. If I didn't do something that he really wanted, I was scared that he was going to do it. He completely terrified me. He pretended to punch me across the face. He does not get up when he wants something. He gets mm -hmm. what he wants. Her statement to detectives, written in neat, childlike writing, paints a picture of a girl who wanted to wait until marriage. Text messages between her and Villapondo obtained by detectives indicate he knew what he did. He wrote, please don't let your dad find out. I don't want to go to jail. I'm going to college. I don't want to be sitting in jail. She wrote back, you knew I didn't want to, right? I told you that I didn't want to. Yes, he replied. Another teen who went to the same school, Delaney Henderson, says she was also raped by Villapondo. I heard footsteps walking to my room. I got really scared. I got my blanket, and they came in and closed the door, and Shane locked it, and they walked up to the edge of my bed and took off their clothes. She says a beach day with friends went terribly wrong. I just remember laying in my bed, and um, they both, uh, uh, they both got on my bed and were talking to me, and, uh, they overpowered me and they both took turns and they raped me. She says Villapondo and another boy gang raped her. Shane felt like a monster. He felt like bigger than anything and I've never been so scared in my entire life. But then she found out about the other victim, the 14 year old. About two weeks I hesitated to approach her. But when she finally did, she says they were both shocked by the similarities. Both say Villapondo plied them with alcohol or drugs. And they each recalled how he and his friend used hand signals before the assault. Delaney says they decided it was time to go to the police. About two weeks, I hesitated to approach her. That's when she says her world fell apart. The detectives took the 14-year-old's case, but not hers. As your dad, you want to just control all that and fix everything, and it just was just spiraling. After you reported it, I was suicidal. I was depressed. I was scared all the time. At school, I was followed and tortured and bullied and harassed. And, and Shane and his friends would come up to me and start screaming and calling me a whore and liar in front of all of my friends. Everyone called me and backed up Shane because he was the popular kid. And I'd just walk with my head down and run away because I was so completely scared of him. She left her hometown, moved 100 miles away. She says she carved a new life for herself, made new friends, and testified in the 14-year-old's trial. And earlier this month, when Villapondo was convicted, she says it was all worth it. I feel like because it provided justice for her that I can find justice in the fact that she is satisfied and she is feeling like she can move on. Again, we tried to get a comment from Villapondo and his family, but they declined. Ultimately, the other teen boy involved in Delaney's assault admitted guilt to her and apologized to her in person. She says it's been rough, but she's come a long way. If anything, it made me stronger, but it sure was a hell of a ride to get there. Yeah, that's courage. The other teen boy who admitted guilt to Delaney has not char been charged, was not charged. He'll be back in court tomorrow to see if he'll be retried on a fourth count rape of an intoxicated person. The jury was split 11 to one on that one. As for Delaney's allegations against him, the investigation is ongoing.